ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் க்ளோட் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டிங் வாட் ஆர் த டூல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹவு டு டூ த பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் வி வில் சி தி ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் டு டிசைன் த பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் பிஃபோர் தட் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு தேங்க் ஸ்வாதி அண்ட் ஷங்கர் ஃபார் ஆஸ்கிங் மீ திஸ் கொஸ்டின் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஆன் வாட் இஸ் க்ளோட் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டிங் ஸோ தேங்க்ஸ் அகேன் ஃபார் ஆஸ்கிங் திஸ் கொஸ்டின் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் கோ டு தி வீடியோ நவ் so in this video we will see about what is cloud performance testing the benefits of cloud performance testing the types and the tools that we use or we require for cloud performance testing and how to develop a strategy for cloud performance testing cloud performance testing in particular refers to the performance testing of software application running in the cloud and this is one of the aspect of testing the application to measure the responsiveness and the stability of the software application under different workloads and we all have a myth that moving the applications to cloud make the application run faster so even though the cloud offers us a pool of resources for computing storage and networking where the applications can be scaled the provision of the provisioning of additional cloud sources will not automatically make our application run fast so what does impact the performance is the application its architecture its data intensive workloads will impact the performance and if we are moving an application from on premises to the cloud we should compare the performance benchmark across the environments to ensure the sla's and the user experience are met and if we are testing a cloud native application we can move ahead with the standard performance testing ahead of production so here comes the question why cloud performance testing so cloud performance testing determines how well the application will function or is functioning in a cloud hosted environment so we can mitigate the performance bottlenecks and determine what is needed to handle the peak workloads so the cloud performance testing determines how well the application will function or is the functioning in a cloud hosted environment so we can mitigate the performance bottlenecks and determine what is needed to handle the peak workloads the goal is to simulate real world users interacting with the application to measure validate and verify its responsiveness speed scalability and stability because performance equals transaction time and user experience so what does measuring the performance gives us so measuring performance is critical to the success of a cloud computing because the performance has a direct impact on the cost of cloud services as well the as well as the application's reliability and the scalability although load testing and stress testing are the two common performance tests to measure the latency throughput and capacity of the system load testing looks at how the application performs under expected normal loads and stress testing looks at how the application performs under heavier than average loads so now we will see a list of different performance tests for applications on the cloud the load test measures the performance of the application under normal and peak conditions the stress test on the other hand measures the performance of the application under extreme conditions outside of the bounds of its normal operation the browser test validates that the application works as intended when accessed through different web browsers the latency test measures the amount of time it takes to move a data packet from one point to another within the network the targeted infrastructure test isolates and measures each layer or the component of the application to test its performance the failover test this test validates the application's ability to provide extra resources and move to a backup system in the event of a server or any system failures and next is the capacity test which measures how many users the application can handle before the performance of the application starts to suffer during the load test or during any real time scenarios 
And finally, the most important soak test which measures the performance of the application under a high load for an extended period of time. And I always advise to test any application that are hosted in the cloud should have or must undergo a soak test before it moves to the production. And let's now see the tools which are commonly used for cloud performance testing. So these are the common and the most frequently used tools, which is Apache JMeter, AppPerfect, BlazeMeter, Blitz, CloudBees, Fortio, Gatling, HammerDB, IBM Rational Performance Tester, IOMeter, LoadStorm, Load Ninja, Load View, Microfocus, Load Runner, and Silk Performer, Nessus, Oracle, Perfecto, SmartMeter, SOA. STA Cloud Test, the Tricent is Near Load, Web Load, and there are much more other tools in the market for the cloud performance testing. Please do comment like which tool are you using at your work for the performance testing and especially the cloud performance testing so that everybody else can know what is the tool and also write in one line like what is the advantage of using the tool. So developing a strategy to test application performance on the cloud is the most important part that we're going to cover now and we will follow that in a sequence of steps. So the first part of it is defining the scope and criteria where during this stage we will collect the requirements and set goals and objectives for performance testing and identifying the desired performance characteristics of the application including the response time, throughput and resource utilization. The next part is identifying the software, hardware and the network configuration for testing and comparing the test and production environment to mitigate any deltas that can impact the result of testing. And the second part of it is the test planning and design where at this stage we will develop the performance tests which involves identifying the usage scenarios, we determine the variability across users, we identify and generate any test data that we require for testing and specify the metrics to collect and this information will feed into workload profiles. In case if you haven't watched my video on workload profiles, please do check in my playlist. And the next one is configuring the test environment where we prepare the performance testing tools and design the tests ahead of test execution and we configure the test environment and the resource monitoring tools. So this is the most critical area in configuring the test environment which is part of the test strategy. And next comes the test execution where we perform the performance tests and collect the anal and collect and analyze the test data. And the last part of the strategy is monitoring, analyzing and fine tuning where we consolidate, analyze and share the findings with our team and based on the results we continue to fine tune the test plan and work on the application and its infrastructure as needed. And now we will see the benefits of cloud performance testing. So when talking about the benefits of cloud performance testing, so this includes the validation that the application is running as intended in a cloud environment and providing the users an optimal user experience. And knowing that our application performs well, we can focus on the scalability, the flexibility and reduced overhead for innovation. So moving the application to the cloud is not the end of the performance bottlenecks but it's again looking at the different perspective of the performance of the applications since the performance issues that arise in the cloud tend to be lurking in the application or the database and by running the performance test on the application we can identify the bugs or any performance bottlenecks to mitigate in the source code so when it comes to the database, we can look at the configuration of cache size, the bucket size and the input output optimization. We may also need to increase the resources that the database needs such as the CPU and storage. And finally, the performance testing helps to isolate and remedy what needs to be modified for the cloud computing environment. 
So I believe this video would have been very useful to you. I think I, I have discussed almost all the parts or all the areas of performance, the cloud performance testing especially. So in case if you, if I miss anything, please do comment in the comment section and let me know what to discuss in the next video. Thanks and until we meet you in another interesting video, it's bye from Asin Shanmugam and Little Slaw.